day everyone, I am Angela Peligro, a Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English, an English teacher applicant. So here is my semi-detailed lesson plan. Okay, so allow me to start. Let us all stand for the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, class. Before you take your seat, kindly pick up the pieces of papers under your chairs and organize yourself. Okay, so how was your day, class? Wow, that's great to hear. Okay, let me check first your attendance. Very good, you are all complete today. So now, who can tell me what was our previous discussion? Yes! Very good. So we talked about punctuation marks. So today, we will have another lesson. But before that, we will have first an activity. I'm going to show you a picture. I want you to look at this picture and tell me what are the differences. Yes. Very good. That's the major and only difference of these two pictures. Just imagine the world without colors. What would it be like? Yes, very good. Okay, so do we all agree that the first picture is more attractive than the other one? Yes. Okay, you may be wondering why I gave you these pictures. It is because it is something to do with our lesson for today, which is figures of speech. Okay, so what is the connection of this picture in studying figures of speech? Yes, very good. You have said earlier that uh, the first picture is more attractive than the other one, then it's the same with figures of speech. It paints meaningful and colorful picture of every mind of the reader so they can be more interested in reading the text. Okay, so do you all now understand what is figures of speech? Okay, very good. Now, I have here commonly used figures of speech. So we have here simile, metaphor, personification, and hyperbole. Okay, so what is simile? Simile is a figure of speech that makes direct comparison through the use of like or as. For example, life is like a box of chocolate. Life can describe a similar as the box of chocolate. And also, we can see in this sentence that there is the word life. Okay? So, we are comparing two things. The life and a box of chocolate. Okay, another example. Yes, very good. Okay, so now let's proceed to the next one. We have metaphor. So what is metaphor? A metaphor is a figure of speech that makes indirect comparison. Okay, so we have here example. The dog's bed is a marshmallow. It looks so comfortable. So the dog's bed is referred as marshmallow. Okay? We cannot see the word like for us. But still, it compares two things just like the word simile. Okay? So simile and metaphor, they are still similar because they compare two things but the difference is that simile uses the word like or us whereas the metaphor is um, comparing indirectly okay so do you have any example of metaphor yes very good okay so do you have any 
questions about simile and metaphor? Okay, not so far. Very good. So now let's proceed to the next one. We have personification. So what is personification? A figure of speech that gives human qualities to things, animals, or objects. Okay, we have here an example. Lightning dance across the sky. Okay, we cannot say that lightning can dance, right? Okay, so we are giving human qualities to the word lightning. So another example of personification? Yes, very good. Okay, so now let's proceed to the last one. So we have here hyperbole. Okay, so what is hyperbole? A figure of speech that distorts facts and is meant to exaggerate. Okay, I have here an example. My feet are killing me. We cannot say that a feet can kill us. Instead, we may think that the feet is in pain right now, right? Okay, so any example of hyperbole? Yes, very good. Okay, so do you all now understand the common used figures of speech? Okay, very good. So who can uh, summarize all our lessons for today? Yes. Okay, very good. So I guess you all learned uh, all our uh, topic for today. So now I will group you into five. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now go to your groups. So you have to collaborate with your group mates and make a three stanza poem with four lines in each stanza. Okay, so your poem must have figures of speech. So I have here criteria. So, these are the criteria in making your own poem. So, originality, we have 15 points. Coherence of form and structure, 10 points. Clarity of imagery and language, 10 points. And presence of figures of speech, 15 points. So, a total of 50 points. So, I will give you 15 minutes to do it and time is up. Okay, wow, you got a very nice form. Okay, so now I want you to go back to your seats. I will measure your understanding if you really understand our lesson for today. So get a long bond paper. So in this activity, you have to construct two sentences of each figures of speech using a creative graphic organizer, okay? So I will give you 10 minutes to do it and time is up. Okay, so pass your papers forward. Okay, thank you so much class. So for our, for your assignment, you have to research and read other uh, figures of speech, okay? So that was, that are not mentioned today. Okay, so um, any questions, clarifications with regards to our topic for today? Okay, not so far, thank you so much. Okay, so now let us all stand for the closing prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Goodbye class!